Hello my soccer universe. Let's continue taking our jerseys from the huge parcel that Idris sent my way. It is just awesome the way he could help me out there. The last time I said we're gonna uh, do the next is to finish the 32. I, I actually decided now to do this last and we're gonna look at the two others uh, that are in there. Uh, which is where Idris went on a vintage run. Uh, you know, he, I had already the um, Saudi Arabia jersey from last time and the Costa Rica jersey uh, at his place. And you know, you gotta actually improve, uh, you know, in order to make the chic being worthwhile, add a few jerseys uh, to it. And again, I th I have to express my gratitude. I've, I probably didn't do it enough for Idris for really helping me out on this one. Not only do I want to have the 32 teams, there are also certain uh, jerseys where I think are certain teams where I need to have another jersey from. Uh, you see, for instance, I have a Croatia only the away jersey. For Serbia, I had a home jersey. I really li li like the away jersey. I want to actually you know, be able to have a home and an away jersey. And for a long time within Austria, I have been looking for certain teams, um, namely Brazil. You know, I had the 2002 away jersey um, which turned out to be a fake and I always liked blue Brazil jerseys so I really wanted to have one of those I also was looking for Croatia uh, home jerseys I was looking for Denmark and away jersey and I keep finding them however um, for a particular Brazil jersey I contacted an Austrian seller who didn't want to ship it to me and I kind of was just a little bit complaining to it. It, it res, uh, my first frustration. I said, yeah, le, uh, I can help you. And he looked up uh, and I actually then went also on vintage football area where they had it. And I said, do you mind if I ship it? This is too expensive and it's not in the great, the greatest condition. I can help you there. That's how it went. And he pulled it up on vintage and he found that particular uh, Brazil jersey. I think it was only 20 euros. And from what he uh, expressed to me, it was in good condition. So let's take one out. Here is the Brazil jersey. Now I always said I like Brazil to be blue and white, but there has been one particular Brazil jersey that I've always liked, and that was the 2010 away jersey. This dot pattern always intrigued me, although I never understood why the dots needed to be tighter up top. When you know the 2010 World Cup holds also a special um, memory to me because this was the first uh, big tournament where I actually ran my analysis. Also, now I have for this particular matchup, Netherlands against Brazil, I have it. This jersey, as promised, is in perfect condition. I am very happy. I would have paid, I almost, I, I was ready to pay over 50 euros for them. He found it for 20. I mean, Idris is so resourceful in this case. And I guess uh, in France, more people are living, so you have more options. And, you know, the advantage for me of having ship uh, things bought in France is that, yes, ship, there's shipping, but you don't have to buy, buy import fees like from Great Britain. But yeah, I really, I really, really like this jersey. Um, I actually like what they have in here. Nacido para jogar football, I guess is how you pronounce it. Uh, the Brazil uh, crest with five stars, all in perfect condition. And on the back, it is a blank. And you have, as all of these, you had Brazil. Uh, again, I call this line the um, Band 8 uh, collection because, you know, <laughs> it looks like Band 8s, the taping that they had down. But again, the five stars go here and i think it's, it's uh, no it's not on the other sleeve so there it is rather plain but i have to i have to say this was as i said not my classic brazil away jersey but it's one that i always like because i think the yellow and the blue fit very well together and then let's take out the other team in there let me see let me see let me see It is, and there is actually a note. Merci pour votre command. Ah, this is probably from Saudi Arabia. That got lost. Uh, it is a Croatia home jersey, finally. And it risk came through of finding my favorite Croatia home jersey outside of the 98 and the 96 ones. It's the 2016. 
It's the 2016. Uh, I know they are not producing them with the tight pattern anymore, but I have to say, when I saw this, this was the twisted Croatia jersey that I always wanted, wanted to see. It is not the straightforward pattern. It's a little bit wavy. It's flowy. It is different. And yes, maybe the back looks a little bit odd without a name set. That can be alleviated, I guess, that problem. But this has always been my Croatia jersey that I want, want to have. And I'm so stunned that within Austria, with the huge Croatian population that we have here, li living here, you don't find Croatia jerseys. The only ones that I saw here and there pop up for 50 is the 2008 home. Uh, you don't get Croatia jerseys, home jerseys for cheap. And the risk comes through. I think he also got this for 25. I am so pleased with this one. This is an absolute beautiful jersey. So finally, I feel happy. I mean, I like this one. There are better away jerseys out there, but at least I have my favorite Croatia home jersey. So yeah, again, Brazil away, Croatia home, and I'm aware I'm wearing a Serbia jer uh, jersey, but you know, there are brothers that like to fight <laughs> in, in, in a way. Any case, let me know. I mean, and again, the condition of this is, as promised, he, he, he told the condition is great. I'm super, super pleased with this. Any case, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. And with the third part, we complete the third 32 teams with the hosts. Up until then, bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so to get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.